Uh, welcome to the Michigan State University Herbarium. My name is Matt, and today I'm going to be showing you how we mount plant specimens so that they'll last hundreds of years as scientific resources. The first thing I'll do is show you some of the supplies that you'll need, and then I'll go over a couple of examples. So let's get started. This is our mounting station, and some of the supplies that I've got ready for this include acid-free paper to mount the specimens on, fragment packets, the unmounted specimen, so you can see that's in here with a label, a place to dilute glue, paint brushes, a little bit of water, a glue bottle, wax paper, boards, so you can use books if you don't have something like this, uh, soft foam pads, and washers. So I'm ready to get started now. The first thing I'm going to do is put down a board here, um, and that lets you move the stack later easily if you need to. And then my sheet of acid-free paper. This is a herbarium sheet. You can see ours actually has our logo up here in the corner. Um, a lot, most sheets don't have that. It's fine if, if yours doesn't. Um, then I'm going to open up the unmounted specimen, and you can see that this contains the plant material and the label. So this is kind of how we receive specimens when people send them to us. Um, so uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is arrange all the pieces on the herbarium sheet. And the reason I want to do that before I start gluing is because I don't want a bunch of stuff overlapping. Like I don't want this plant material overlapping the label. Luckily this is a pretty easy one. I'm going to show you a harder example um, after I'm done with this. So I'm going to get this sheet out of the way. Um, I got a piece of wax paper. I prefer to gl glue plants uh, on wax paper so because it's a lot easier to clean. Um, so I'm going to move this and I'm going to have to flip it over because that's what you have to do. Um, I'm actually going to do the label first though. So what I've done over here is um, mixed a little bit of glue with water. That actually helps it spread across the labels a little easier. So I, I tend to use like 25% water, 75% glue. Um, it just, I don't know, I like doing it. Everybody kind of mounts and finishes in different ways. So this is how I like to do it. Um, I'll just quickly get that on there. You don't want too much because it'll start to wrinkle up later on and it looks a little ugly. Part of the goal of this, aside from making, this, making sure the specimen is secure so that it will last like hundreds of years, um, is to make it look nice at the same time. So you want your specimens to come out looking nice. All right, here we go. All right, so that's done, easy. I got a little paper towel here in case I make a mess. Um, you can also see that I'm wearing gloves. That's just so that I don't have to wash my hands later um, to get the glue off. I don't really like having glue on my hands. Um, and so this is the part that uh, might be a little tricky. With these glues um, on these plant specimens, less tends to be more. So usually the way that we do it um, is going up the stem like this, just dotting. So this is, it's pretty good glue. Um, so if you get the stems and a little bit on each leaf, it's really not going anywhere. All right. And you can see like a lot of it's going onto the wax paper. That's why it's nice to use wax paper. And then usually with each leaf, I do one, two, three. Make sure you get any leaves that are overlapping too. I think I got all of them. Yeah, I think that looks great. Um, so you wanna be gentle with this part. Some plants are a little um, more fragile than others. So as you lift that up, just make sure you're not going too quickly. Take your time. And then it should just go right on there. I think that looks so good. Yeah, and so you can kind of see with these upper parts especially, um, it's a little bit of glue that smushed out. What you can do is just get um, a paper towel or a napkin or something, kind of wipe that up. There. 
Yeah, it looks really good though. Um, we include fragment packets with ours. So you can see these little packets here. If you get to do a little bit of origami, ours are pre-folded. Um, and so these are for if any pieces fall off uh, as the specimen is stored or as people are using the specimen, they'll have a place to put those pieces. Um, so this is pretty quick. This isn't like the gluing the plant. Just put that on there. Um, and then let's see, where is it going to fit? I think this is good. Okay, now we're ready for wax paper. Okay. I'll grab a bunch of washers and lay those over top. Um, this just helps uh, press the plant down because otherwise the glue in the plant might not be in contact with the paper itself. Get a couple over the label. Yeah, I think that's great. And then a foam pad. Obviously, if you don't have foam pads, you can just um, stack another book or another board on top or whatever you happen to have. Um, we just use, we have a lot of this extra equipment because we mount and finish a lot of specimens here, um, and it just speeds the process up a little bit. Yeah, so uh, that's really all there is to um, easy specimens. So now I'll show you a more challenging specimen. The next one I'm going to show you um, is much wispier and more fragile, so I'm going to have to mount it slightly differently. And these, of course, take longer. Um, so this is ooh, a native species called Campanula aparinoides. Um, it was collected in 2018. Here's the label. And you know, kind of start the same way as the last one by putting the pieces on there, making sure nothing's overlapping, um, being very careful because this one is just very delicate and fragile. Um, so I'll go over there. I've actually also grabbed some fine tip forceps. Those can be very helpful um, when you collect stuff like this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. You can see a couple of pieces are already kind of coming off. I'm sure that happened while the plant was stored. Um, so this is something that will go in the fragment packet. Um, so yeah, like last time, first thing I'll do is put the label on. Just kind of like what I like to do first. A little bit. Yeah, so with these, what I like to do is get under there with a little um, fine paintbrush. So I'm just going to go piece by piece here, probably starting at the left, um, kind of get under there, and I might just paint directly on the paper. So let's just see how that goes. All right. What I could use is a little bit of undiluted glue to easily dip my paintbrush into. Sometimes they like to move on you. There. All right, that's not going anywhere. I think that's good. I'll wipe up a little bit of this extra glue.
You can also, as you're doing this, you probably noticed me doing this already. Now I'm not painting directly on the paper. That's one way of doing it. You can also kind of get under there um, and paint under the leaves and the stems. So it just depends on how big the piece you're working with is and kind of what feels right. As long as you get the glue on there um, and the plant isn't being destroyed, um, that's kind of what's important. I don't think that's going anywhere. It's just a little easier with this one um, because it's got a lot more leaves. Okay. All right, this is going to be a place where I paint on the paper again because there are so many little tiny stems. You can see that some of these flowers aren't perfectly glued down. We tend to leave flowers unglued, like you can do the stems, um, but if, in case anybody in the future needs to actually like look on the underside of the flower or like get a piece of it for something, um, we leave those unglued. So this is still, like these can still move. And of course the flowers are, oop, the flowers are attached to the rest of the plant. So if the rest of the plant is attached, they're not going anywhere. Um, and I also think that I missed this stem. Okay, well, we'll see how that is. And of course, you know, if you mount one of these up and like you take, a, you let it dry and then you take a look at it later and you say, oh man, that didn't really stick as well as I wanted it to. You can go back and add more glue to any parts that didn't um, get glued down. So be sure to check them after you're done. Yeah, so I think that that's pretty good. So that's how you mount a uh, more challenging, wispy, fragile specimen like that. It does take longer. That one probably took about 10 minutes to do. Um, it's just, it is a matter of being patient and just doing a good job, you know? Um, so I guess I'm just gonna get a fragment packet on there now. Uh, I don't really have a, a lot of room, so I'm gonna use a smaller fragment packet. My origami. Beautiful. How about that? A perfectly mounted specimen. Now we just stack it up. Get our wax paper, our washers. Gently putting the washers on this one. All right, and you can actually see, um, because this took so long, the label is starting to like come up a little bit. That's why putting these washers on while it's still drying is nice because then it'll dry um, and it won't be curled up. Yeah, so I think you get the gist of it. Um, it's deceptively challenging sometimes, but this is really one of my favorite things to do in the herbarium. Um, back before the pandemic, we used to I used to sit with volunteers and we would mount some specimens up on Fridays. It's fun. It's relaxing. So there's one thing that I actually wanted to add after mounting these plants up yesterday. Um, and that is actually my favorite part, which is um, taking them out of the boards the next day. So we let these dry for 24 hours. You could probably go less, like maybe 12, but um, we let them dry 24 hours. So. Uh, let's take these out and see how they look. So this is kind of like Christmas morning for me. <laughs> uh, get these washers off. So my goal here is to make sure that they are um, not damaged, they're securely attached, and then to put any loose pieces into the fragment packets so they can uh, move on to the next part of the processing queue. 
And you can see this is why the wax paper is important. Even the wax paper sticks a little bit. So if you remember, this was the really challenging one that I just did. Um, and it actually has a little piece that I want to save here. Let's open up that fragment packet. Let's see. So the reason that I like to get these is um, whenever people go to collect DNA from these specimens, um, what they'll do is look in the fragment packet first as opposed to taking a piece off the actual specimen. Yeah, so uh, that's not going anywhere, I think. Looks like it's on there. I'll gently feel. Yeah, I think that's great. Really good. Yeah, you always want to make sure to be careful when you're handling these. Um, they're dried plants, so they'll last a really long time if they're properly cared for and properly handled. You know, don't like try not to hold them vertically so that a bunch of pieces fall off. Don't bend them, obviously, um, because they're crispy and they'll just fall apart. I hope you enjoy collecting and mounting your own specimens. This is a pretty fun, exciting project. I like collecting plants, so um, tune in for more content. Thanks for watching.